Hi, welcome to Pikai Pharmacy. So today we are going to learn about total quality management. So let's start off with the introduction. Now this term total quality management is made up of three crucial words, total, quality and management. Now by the word total, we know that it means the complete, the whole thing. And quality means the degree of excellence that a product or service provides. And management is the act art or manner of planning, controlling, directing a process. So from these three things we can say like that total quality management TQM is the art of managing the complete, the whole to achieve what? Excellence. Now before going further let's discuss about the definitions of total quality management. So here you can see three different definitions of total quality management all of them being equally correct in their own way okay so let's first look at the first definition of total quality management so here total quality management has been defined as an integrated organizational effort designed to improve quality at every level so improve what improve quality at every level so the thing is to be focused here is the word integrated so by that they are defining that the effort the effort to improve the quality should be a fundamental part of the whole organization so it, it should be an inherent property of the organization to improve its quality at each and every level now let's move on to the second definition of total quality management where it is said that the total quality management is the process to produce a perfect product by a series of measures requiring an organized effort by the entire company to prevent or eliminate errors at every stage in production. So the subtle details in this definition that we need to focus on is the is few terms like the organized effort where they are trying to say that the effort needs to be organized. It should be a calculated effort by the entire company. So the entire organization should be responsible for the effort and by that effort they are trying to do what they are trying to eliminate or prevent errors at each and every stage in the production so if they are trying to do what they are trying to prevent or eliminate errors in every stage of the production so here you can see some similarities with the previous definition in the previous definition also they have mentioned the improvement of quality at every level so the improvement of quality can be achieved by preventing or eliminating the errors which have been mentioned in the second definition. So the second definition says or tells us how to improve the quality. So we can improve the quality by preventing or eliminating errors at every stage in the production. So this is what total quality management means by the second definition. So now let's move on to the third definition which is according to the International Organization for Standards. So this International Organization for Standards is the organization that sets out different standard definitions for various things. So they have defined total quality management as it is a management approach for an organization centered on quality based on the participation of all its members and aiming at long term success through customer satisfaction and benefits to all members of the organization and to society. So they have claimed TQM to be a management approach which is centered on quality. So the main focus of TQM is quality, what they are trying to say, based on the participation of its member. So here also the participation of the member, that means the organized effort is important, like the previous definition. So here they are saying the participation of all its member is important. But the different thing that they have added to this definition is the long term success. So they are trying to say that if one implements total quality management in the organization, so it benefits in a long term success through what through customer satisfaction, which is very important. And it also benefits the member of the organization, not only the customers, but the members who are working in this organization gets also the benefits via TQM. So now if customers are satisfied with the product and this TQM is also benefiting the organizations and its member, so it means an overall benefit for the whole society.
I think now we're done with the definition. So let's move on to the concept of TQM. So this total quality management is comprised of nine fundamental concepts and it starts with systematic approach, integrated system, continuous improvement, effective communication, training, process thinking, customer satisfaction, total employee commitment and teamwork and quality chain. Right now, I don't think these individual concepts require uh, detailed explanation, but if you are willing to know a little bit more about them, then please let me know in the comment section below. I will try to explain this. Okay. So after the concepts of total quality management, here comes its characteristics. So it includes committed management, adopting and communicating about TQM, closer customer relation, closer provider relation, setting benchmarks, increasing the training, creating an open organization, employee empowerment means giving more authorization to the employee, having more power to improve or change the process, flexible production, process improvement and process measuring. Because process measuring is also important because you need to understand the how much improvement has been done. So we need to calculate the improvements and that's why we also need process measuring. After that, here comes the principle of total quality management. So here are the five principles which governs the total quality management and the first being producing quality work the first time and every time. So we have to produce quality work not only the first time but every time. So it is a mandatory to produce quality work each and every time. So that is the first principle. So the second principle comes the focus on the customer. So we have to focus on the customer. So the customer satisfaction is a very crucial thing. So we have to satisfy the customer. So for that we have to know what they need. And we have to also deliver what they need while maintaining the what quality. So we have to also maintain the quality and we have to also deliver the things, the product they need. Then comes the third principle of having a strategic approach to improvement. So we need to have a plan, a strategic approach to being improvement. So without a plan, without a strategic approach, it is very much difficult to bring improvement in our work process, right? Then comes the fourth principle that is the continuous improvement. Now continuous improvement is a very much crucial part of an organization. So with the help of continuous improvement, we can satisfy our customers. We can produce quality products and we can also compete with other organizations. Okay. And then comes the last, the fifth principle of total quality management, which, which encourages the mutual respect and teamwork. So I don't think I need to explain, you already know that how much mutual respect and teamwork is, is, is important in, in, in any kind of work, in any organization. Without mutual respect and teamwork, none can bring or implement total quality management system. Okay. So here are the five principles of total quality management. But I also want to let you know that there is a different approach to this principle of total quality management and, and that principle is based on plan do check and act now if you want to know a little bit more about this plan do check act principle of total quality management then after this video you can check my description box where i will mention the website and from there you can learn this alternate principle of total quality management so i think now you have understood the principle of total quality management and right now here what you can see is a comparative study between a traditional approach of running an organization and total quality management system. So in this comparative study it shows that how in traditional approach there was lack of communication but in total quality management there is an open communication system. It also shows how total quality management empowers the employees rather restricting or controlling the staff. And it also shows how Total quality management focuses on prevention rather than inspection. It also shows how TQM focuses more on customer continuous improvement rather than seeking stability, cooperative relations, solving problems at their roots, not allocating blames to each other.
like it was done in traditional approaches. So these are some differences between total quality management system and a traditional organizational approach. So now here you can pause this video if you want to note these differences down before moving to the next slide. So here we are going to discuss the key elements of total quality management. So there are three key elements of total quality management. First one being the focus on the customer. So there are two kinds of customers. One is the external customer and is the internal customer. So by external customer, it means the customers that consumes the organization's product or service. Okay. And by internal customer, it means the employees who receive the output of other employees. If I'm able to make you understand right, it means, uh, it means the internal customers are the employees themselves who receive the output from other employees within that organization. Okay. And then comes the second element that is the employee involvement. Since the quality is considered the job or responsibility of all the employees, so all the employees should be involved in quality initiatives. Okay. So in improving the quality in that initiative, all the employees should be involved. Now the frontline employees are likely to have the closest contact with the external customers i have explained the external customer before the customers which receives receives the product of the organization okay so they are the external customers so the frontline employees are closest with the external customer so they are the one who are in direct contact with the external customers so they can collect the data about what they need what is their experiences about the product so therefore employees must have the authority to innovate and improve the quality that is the second key element of total quality management so now comes the third element of total quality management that is the continuous improvement so you have already seen this term continuous improvement in various slides before so you can guess how much important this continuous improvement in the total quality management system now continuous improvement means that small incremental improvement that occurs on a regular basis which eventually adds up to the vast improvement in quality at the end and this foundation of total quality is a management philosophy i guess that supports meeting customers requirement through continuous improvement okay now moving on to the next slide here comes the importance of total quality management in pharmaceutical industries now the pharmaceutical industry is a vital segment of healthcare system which is regulated heavily because any mistake in a product design or production can lead to a severe or even fatal outcome. The poor qualities of drug are not only a health hazard but also a waste of money for both government and individual consumers. So the maintenance of the quality with continuous improvement is a very important thing for pharmaceutical industries. So right from this concept, total quality management was established. And the aim of PQM is prevention of defects rather than detection of defect. So here what you can see that the total quality management system is built in such a way that it doesn't let the defect to arise rather it prevents the defects to happen at the first place. So TQM is very important for pharmaceutical industries to produce better product and ensure the maximum safety of healthcare system and also protect waste of money for both government and individual consumers. Now here you can see the benefits of implementing total quality management system is improvement in quality, employee participation, teamwork, working relationships, customer satisfaction, employee satisfaction, productivity, communication, profitability and lastly market share. So these are all the benefits that we can get if we implement total quality management system in our organization. So this was my attempt of explaining total quality management systems to you guys. And I'm really really very sorry to everyone subscribed to this channel. I know I have been very much inconsistent since last year for a lot of personal reasons and a bit out of 
out of my laziness i can say that and i take total responsibility for that from now i hope i hope to make more videos this year for all of you lastly happy new year i hope you like this video stay healthy bye